Mrs. Missy Henderson, Permanent Secretary, Office of the Prime Minister, Mrs. Kim Osborne, Executive Secretary for Integral Development, Organization of American States, Mr. Stephen Lander, President of the Dominica Association of Industrial and Commerce, Mr. Sam Raphael, owner of Jungle Bay, P.S. Esther Thomas, P.S. in the Ministry of Trade, Commerce, Entrepreneurship, Innovation, Business and Export Development, Ambassador Felix Gregoire, Board of Directors of the Dominica Association of Industrial and Commerce, Entrepreneurs, Media Partners, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good afternoon. We've long awaited for this moment where we could review and recognize the entrepreneurs who have been part of the Dominica Entrepreneurship and Innovation Hub, the first of its kind in Dominica. To begin, I invite you to please stand so that we bow heads for prayer. The Canaan Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity of making it to today, the final day of this one week special intensive program for our young entrepreneurs who have been part of the Dominica Entrepreneurship and Innovation Hub. We thank you for your mercies and for allowing us to reach at this point. We thank you for the many partners who have seen this fit to collaborate to ensure that our entrepreneurs could improve on their businesses to make an impact not just in Dominica but the world at large. We thank you for supporting us throughout the process for all who supported with lectures, with sharing of their experiences and mentorship. And we do thank you that this is not going to be the end but our entrepreneurs will advance and they will be much more successful as a result of this. Please bless this proceedings and help it to run smoothly, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated, everyone. At this time, we would like to invite Mr. Sam Raphael, the owner of Jungle Bay, to address us at this moment. Good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to, well, protocol has been established, but say hello to friends at the head table, P.S. Henderson and Mr. Lander. Certainly, I love it when I see Lizra because she is, back in the olden days, one of my mentees, and it's so great to see her. And uh, P.S. Thomas, uh, one of the warriors with us in economic development, who's been on boards together, and Ambassador Gregoire, who's on our local tourism development committee. Kenny Green, former president of the EIC, who contacted me some not too long ago uh, about uh, doing this retreat. And as I look around the room, I know I will miss uh, some uh, Natasha Leloy from the PM's office, also uh, Mr. Sorendo from DCP, and, and so many of you wonderful people, the members of the media, but most importantly uh, to the attendees of this uh, retreat. Uh, as the owner of Jungle Bay, on behalf of Jungle Bay, I would like to thank you, actually, for gracing us with this uh, blessing. Uh, we are scheduled to reopen a week from this coming Monday, and we, are, we think it's good karma for this to be the way that we, we reopen, with a dynamic group of, of wide-eyed young people like yourselves, with all these brilliant ideas and all this brilliant energy. And uh, I tell you, I've, I've had the opportunity to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one mentoring. With many of you, I know some of you, you didn't get your chance. Uh, somehow, uh, they didn't make it on the, th uh, uh, time did not permit because you guys were too busy with your program. I see my friend Joel Dennis here from the National Bank. Uh, Joel, you have your mask on, that's why I miss you. Pardon me, uh, he's assistant manager of the bank and he's certainly been one, I know from our programs before and this is a stalwart in supporting young entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for being here, Joel. And so it, 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 it is with, with tremendous you know, joy that, that even though I didn't get to, to mentor some of you when I asked you, how was the program going? Because that's been the running question. What do you think? How has it been going? And it's a, a, been a chorus. There's so much information. We're getting so much. This is so meaningful. And the only thing I would admonish you to do is to try to apply it to your lives right away so that it doesn't slide out of the other ear and you forget 
Uh, always keep this moment. Remember how you felt when you were here at Jungle Bay, at the retreat, when you had the energy of your, your, your colleagues and had all of this positive energy. Keep that with you. Keep that buried inside of you so that you can rekindle that flame wherever you go when you, when you meet uh, the challenges that you're going to meet. Now, many of you, uh, we had the opportunity to have discussions, and, and the one thing I would admonish you to, to do is to keep positive. You, you don't get anywhere by, by, by feeling down. Whenever you get that, that little sagging feeling, and it's quite common to get that. Uh, you need to learn how to, to, to control that emotion and to fight back. Surround yourself by very positive people. Uh, surround yourself and make connections. Don't wait until you need a connection to make a connection. Make a connection and have, I mean, your, your, your real value, your balance sheet is, is what you have in the bank, but I think what's more important than what you have in the bank is the contacts and the connections that you have. So you need to start, and it costs you nothing to do that. Mr. Dennis is here, I don't know how many of you have gone up and just introduce yourself to him, you know? And then when next time you talk to him, the third time when you talk to him at the bank, you're his buddy and you need to get a loan. And you say, come on, let's sit down, how can you? But you already have that relationship and that affinity. And uh, you know, everyone, he's at a bank, but they don't have to be at a bank. It could be anywhere, it could be the janitor at the entrance of, of the door or the security guard or someone. Everyone has a connection and it can benefit you if you link up and you use your smarts to figure it out, yeah? So I'd like you all to, to build those relationships. Again, we talked about focusing. Some of you have a lot of ideas, and one of the things I always stress that you pick one, you know, and focus, and, and make that the one that you would do if you're not getting paid or get, not making money, because if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. And so always remember, that to, to, uh, to, 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 to stay focused on your goal. There are lots of distractions. I, I, I just have five minutes, but I'll tell you, you know, if you sit around in Dominica and you listen, your family is gonna discourage you, not because they don't want you to do well, but because they love you. And they don't want you to, quote, fail, right? So they're trying to protect you and they don't want you to take risks. Is that right? Am I from another planet? That's true. So you have to, you have to know, you have to have that fight in you, and you have to know that that's what they're trying, but they don't really get it, and so you have to keep going. And then, of course, there are some of those people that are trying to tear you down anyway, because you know what, you're going to be successful. And once you're successful, as I told someone this week, people don't throw stones after green mangoes, huh? So when you start doing well, you're going to have a lot of stones coming your way, you just got to stay focused and ignore that. And uh, the sky's the limit. I think Dominica is, 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 the future is bright. This week, you guys reaffirmed that to me because I saw, I mean, I, interacting with you guys, you guys are tough. I'm not even going to start naming some of the people and some of the businesses that you guys really impress me. And it takes a lot to impress Sam Raphael, I'm telling you. So I, you know, I just want you to, to stick with it. You're a group. Stay together. Don't wait for DEIC to tell you that you guys need to come together for get everyone's you know phone number, get that, keep that chat group, that WhatsApp chat going, because that's from strength to strength. And I pledge to you, as long as I'm here and Judy, my my uh, manager is back there. Judy, if I'm not here, you guys need to use the place. You know, anything we can do at Jungle Bay, please for you guys, you know, we'll roll out the red carpet. So please even if it's once a month, whatever you do, stay together, organize your retreats, get local facilitators to support you with facilitate accounting, whatever the areas are, and just, just build from strength to strength because you know what? Uh, we all are depending on you. So thank you so much, Lizra. Uh, thank you so much, Sam. Thank you very much, Sam, for your kind remarks. And Sam really supported our entrepreneurs throughout the week. It was a non-stop process of ensuring that we could pick his mind on as many business initiatives as possible. At this time, we would like to invite our DEIC president, Mr. Stephen Lander, to address us at this time. All right, thank you. 
Thank you, Desra. And please allow me to adopt the protocol as established by Desra earlier this afternoon. And I want to start by thanking uh, those who supported us in this venture, as I did when I made my remarks at the opening ceremony. Of course, the uh, Kim Osborne and the team at the OAS, the Office of the Prime Minister, represented, represented sorry, by, by Missy Anderson, Sam, being so instrumental in getting this done, and Lizra, my personal thanks to you for, and, and Danielle, uh, and Danny, uh, for all that you've done for the uh, participants over this week. And, and to you, the participants, for... <laughs> and to you, the particip participants, for giving off your time and talent. And uh, let's not ignore the talent. You're not here only taken away from the program, you're here adding value to it as well. And Sam reiterated a few points that I made in uh, my opening remarks. We talked about the network and the value of that, staying in contact. Uh, everyone here has given a personal commitment to continuing to support you in your ventures, and I encourage you to take advantage of that as you go forward. Now, we talked about stakeholders and the supporters of the program, and I, I want to challenge you to do one more thing. We've asked a lot of you this week, I have one more ask. One of the things that we need to do is measure the effectiveness of these sorts of activities when we do them. So I'll be tasking Lizra and the uh, Secretariat of the DIC to come out to you and get some baseline data. We want to know where you are now, okay? And after you have gone and put some of the things into practice that you've learned from this workshop, see what the impact on your business has been. What changes, what positive changes have you yielded from those efforts? And then, we're going to go back to Kim at the OAS and go back to Missy at the, at the OPM and come, well, Sam was already committed, <laughs> but come back to Sam and say, here is what your efforts and your support produced. Let us do it again. Let us touch more lives. Let us bring in more entrepreneurs and spread the impact across other people in the world. So please, that is the last ask that I will have of you today. And as I said, I am available. All of you are my contacts. If you need me, reach out. Don't be afraid to reach out. Let me tell you I'm busy. Don't assume that I am. But we will make some time when possible to address your issues. Thank you for participating this week and all the best in your ventures. Thank you very much, Stephen. Inspiring as always. We would like to invite Mrs. Kim Osborne, the Executive Secretary for Integral Development at the OAS. And Sam also sends his best regards to you and recognizes your contribution to this. Thank you, Isra, and thank you, Sam. Good afternoon, everybody. I am so very deeply honored to be part of the closing ceremony this afternoon. I had the opportunity to listen in on some of the presentations and the interactions during the week. And I specifically took time this morning to listen to the pitches that were coming from the, from the participants. And I must say, I'm beyond impressed. I think this week has far exceeded our expectations, certainly my expectations. And I'm so very hopeful about the future of our country, recognizing the talent that exists in the room recognizing the energy and the enthusiasm that's coming from, from the young people um, of Dominica. I am so very pleased, my heart is so full today. When we first thought of this, of pulling this together, we had nothing, we had no awareness of, of a pandemic hitting us. And so we had anticipated being in Dominica, having one of, of those hub experiences. Things changed and we pivoted to a virtual experience, and I don't think that it minimized the, the, the impact that um, the hub had on Dominica because of the input of so many people. And we are very deeply grateful on, on, on the part of the OAS for the participation of the local team. If I would, would urge our participants to take one thing away from this week, is the power of relationships and the power of partnerships. Um, Kenny touched on it when he spoke this morning, but nothing is more important than building relationships. I think you need to continue to build relationships between and among yourselves, 
between the local um, business community in Dominica. And you had the opportunity to interact with some of the leading um, entrepreneurs and innovators um, in the region, in the Americas. So I urge you to continue to build those relationships, to continue to grow and cultivate those relationships. Because in business, what you will realize is the power of network, of, of having a network that you can reach out to for different types of assistance that you may need along the road. You meet people along the way and you never know when you're going to need them. So continue to build those partnerships, build the relationships um, as, you, as you go along. I also want to take this opportunity to to, to reinforce the fact that this is part of a process. This is the beginning, truly the beginning of a process. Congratulations, Dominica, for that. Um, we've done this before, and the experience that we that has that we have have garnered from from undertaking the hub is that. If you continue to interact with your mentors, if you continue to, to work on your business concepts, if you continue to take on the knowledge and skills that you've, you would have acquired this week and continue this process of interaction, of networking, of growing, you will see the benefits. We will continue to be here as an organization. We will continue to support you as you go forward. We look forward to hearing the results, but truly understand that this was not a workshop that begins and ends today, that this is part of a process, of an ongoing process, and we look forward to measuring the results um, as we go along. I would be remiss if I did not take the time to thank so many people who have made this possible. First, to the Prime Minister and the Prime Minister's office, represented here today by P.S. Henderson, Thank you so much for the partnership. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Um, P.S. Thomas and the team, thank you so much, P.S. Thomas, for always being a part of the work of the OAS. Um, to the DAIC, I have to say that I really, when we first, when I was first introduced to Kenny, um, I felt right away his energy and the, the way the DAIC team has rallied behind this process and making this a reality. We could not be more grateful to Kenny, to Stephen Lander, and to Lizra. Lizra, I have had I had the pleasure of meeting you in Dominica um, last year, and and I am so very grateful for the work that you've put into this. Thank you so very much. To Sam, my good friend Sam, thank you so much for lending us the beautiful jungle bee to for, to allow this to, to happen. I would have much preferred to be there in person, but with truly, truly grateful for the invaluable contribution to this process. And to the, to the many local mentors, business people who came forward to assist, thank you for your time, thank you for your input, thank you for your energy, thank you for your wise counsel. We hope that we can continue to continue as we continue to go through this process. To the international mentors who always are ready to work with us, we will continue to ask for your support on behalf of the entrepreneurs in Dominica. And we really could not do this without you. So thank you. And, and to everyone who has contributed, my own team, Cesar Parga, who heads the competitiveness, science and technology section at the, at the, at the, the, the Secretariat for Integral Development, Cesar, who, who leads this hub. Thank you to Ariane Quintal, who's a specialist within the Department of Economic Development. To Mikhail Bullard from my office, who has been working um, relentlessly throughout this last few weeks. Thank you, Mikhail. And again, I could not, again, as I said, be more grateful for the support, for the partnerships, for the relationships, for the friendships that we've built over this last few days. And we look forward to the results. We look forward to continue working with you so that together, together, we can build a better Dominica. Thank you. And I, I have to apologize. I have to leave for another meeting shortly. So um, I, I, I really apologize that I won't be there towards, to, till the end. Thanks again.
Thank you so very much, Kim, for your kind words and your support throughout this entire process. One of our key partners in making this a success and a reality is Mrs. Missy Henderson, the Permanent Secretary in the Office of the Prime Minister. We invite you to address us at this time. Thank you, Israel, and let me say a special good afternoon to all. Before I begin, let me ask all of you to stand. And the to person say, next to you, this quote from Saul. I think it is, it, mean, it is meant for light, but I think it is so fitting today, and so I invite all of us. So you're going to say to the next person, the person next to you, let's make the future brighter together. Okay, let's say that again. Let's make the future brighter. I think we can do that better. Let's go. Let's make the future brighter together. And you may be seated. Thank you. Let me recognize Mr. Stephen Lander, the president of DIC. Mr. Sam Raphael, the owner of Jungle Bay. Lizra. Fabian, she is the direct, executive director of DIC. I must recognize my dear colleague, the powerful, my dear sister, Esther Thomas. She's the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Trade, Commerce, Entrepreneurship, Innovation, Business, and Export Development. I must recognize my dear good friend, and again, exceptional Kenny Green, a, a pioneer behind this activity. I must again recognize Ambassador Felix Gregoire, who told me he cannot not be there because he is from this constituency and he, he loves his young people. And of course, our partners, I see Joel, I see Mr. Sorendo, I see uh, my dear friend Ivadni, and a number of you, Sajiko. Let me say welcome, and of course, our participants. Good afternoon, and I am elated to be here for this important ceremony. Although it is said to be a closing ceremony, for me, it marks the beginning of a journey, a very important, significant journey as we leave this place. The building of knowledge-based economy is no easy task. Many countries tactically plan to develop their base of entrepreneurs as a small business exercise. However, in Dominica, our government as seen in the vision of our Prime Minister, has a broader vision. Platforms like this Entrepreneur Hub capture the vision of people first, being told and elevated to impact not only themselves, but those who come in contact with creating champions in every community and sector across Dominica. As a Chinese proverb goes, one generation plants the tree, the next generation enjoys the shade. Therefore, what we are doing now is continuing to plant seeds in order to create a confidence and independence that will bode well for our entire country. At first glance, such an approach seems difficult especially when there are often pressing needs such as the need for jobs and need for revenue. However, again, in the ethos of the government and our prime minister, one sustainable venture is far more significant to the continued and consistent success of the country and economy than any start and stop activities that come from a misguided adventure into the world of entrepreneurship. For this country to reap benefits, you have to be able to have a long-term stickability. Ensuring that you do is our government's commitment to you. During COVID-19, this government and our prime minister has been under constant pressure from day one to open up quickly and drive business and drive revenues. However, again, we have protected our crucial human resource 
and that is our people, as a priority because the short-term gains will have been wiped away if we compromise the sustainable future by gambling only on the present. And that is why we are so delighted about this entrepreneur hub, driven with the partnership of the Organization of American States and the DIC. This is exactly what we want to achieve and the successes we have had this week, whether it is small, whether it is big, count to the larger goal of creating a sustainable knowledge economy and resilient entrepreneurs. This government, as the Prime Minister tooted in his opening remarks, will never shy away from supporting the people, whether it be directly or indirectly. The idea of subsisting the unemployed or those who are more vulnerable among us was often criticized when our Prime Minister decided no one, old or young, should be left behind. The strategy, as far as we are concerned, is authentic. We have to look after our own. Those of you who are here getting the privilege of this exposure to resources should take note because the spread across sectors and communities and even genders was not a coincidence. And I think maybe for the first time in small groups, we have a balanced group, a balanced male, a balanced female. We have manufacturers, we have those who are into um, creative art, and so we see a balance, and this was not a coincidence. This hub is not to foster individualism and social media self-praise. It is to build you up so that you can grow and help others in the process. In a few years' time, you may be the ones mentoring and presenting to others who are in your place. That has to be the goal because Hurricane Maria and COVID have taught us the power of community is supreme. Our people are now determined to produce locally. They are determined to buy what is local and they are determined to develop locally. Now, however, it should not be a reaction to events, but a continuation to a concerted and stated goal of self-sustain and to support one another in our local domains. I encourage you to remember each other. I encourage you to be there for each other. I encourage the partners to facilitate requests that they will bring to you, remembering that they are the partners, you are the partners of the first initi initiative of this hub. The OPM would like to salute the OAS and DIC without whom this partnership would not work. And I must recognize Lizra, who caused us to ensure that we met our commitments. And I ask you to thank her. <laughs> Equally, we know that the commitment we show to the development of entrepreneurs is not going to work if we here do not use the tool and knowledge that you have adopted from this hub to push harder and stronger for your own success and for those within your influence. Finally, I wish to leave with you the words found in Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 4. He who watches the wind will not sow, and he who watches the clouds will not reap. In other words, no matter the challenges that are before you, whether it is perceived or otherwise, I exhort you to continue to push, continue to grow, remove, remain focused, remain committed. Your country needs you to succeed. Your government needs you to succeed. Each of your individual communities 
and families need you to succeed. Let's make the future brighter together. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to bless Sam. And may we continue to do what we ought to do for the best of this country. Thank you. Thank you so much, P.S. Missy Henderson, Mrs. Missy Henderson, for your inspiring words. And I think Deborah is quite happy. Let's make the future brighter together. <laughs> At this time, we would like to invite Mr. Danny Joseph, who is the Entrepreneurship and Innovation Officer in the Ministry of Trade, Commerce, Entrepreneurship, Innovation, Business, and Export Development to lead through the certificate ceremony. Lakia Joseph. <laughs> Donna Wulke. <laughs> Melinda Quasa. Colin Jovi. <laughs> Amadin Etienne. <laughs> Angelique Sorrento. Clarita Luge, Julie Roberts, Kadisha Sentries, TK John Baptist Shovan Graham Oana Roberts Kimara Matthew <laughs> Liam Philogen Norville <laughs> Naomi Banis Ranji Frederick <laughs> Ojeli Moses <laughs> Judd Dorset Trial and Edwin
Donny Raphael Hector. Ken Roy Libla. Paul Barron. Jean Claude Bruman. Glenn Wolf Cyril. Albert Graham. Grayson John. Claudinas Bell. Adrian Peter. Kelly Maroney. Brixie Joseph. McChris Moransi. Thank you so much, P.S. Henderson, for assisting us in presenting the certificates to our participants this afternoon. Throughout the course of any program, there are some participants who always stand out in different ways. And over the past week, there are some participants who have been really exceptional in how they have presented themselves. Throughout the week, we gave some of the participants um, some tokens when they, they applied the COVID protocols or whether they came on time or their participation and through different ways we, we recognize them. But today at the closing ceremony we would like to recognize four of our participants and we invite Mr. Stephen Lander to be able to present these to our participants this afternoon. First of all, we would like to call Mr. Albert Graham for stepping up to the challenge in many different ways through his participation and involvement, asking the questions and really being an example. We'd also like to recognize Mr. Kelly Maroney, who was quite exceptional as well in his enthusiasm in getting the task done ensuring that he is innovative in his business. At this time, we'd like to recognize two females. First of all, Brexy Joseph. We invite Brexy to come forward as a recognizer. And even though she was one of, maybe we would say, the final participants to join this program, she was truly exceptional even in terms of the innovation of her business. And we'd also like to recognize Ms. Kadisha St. Louis for, you must say that she added more visibility to the program every day with every presenter in so many ways. She ensured that this program was visible to her entire network and many more individuals. Thank you very much, Stephen. And we must mention 
mention that these tokens which were just presented were donated by Saul EC Limited. So thank you to Saul for that support to our entrepreneurs. At this time, we move to our pitching results and we invite the OAS team via the Zoom meeting to be able to present on the, the, the teams who emerged top in this pitching competition which was held this morning. So over to you, OAS team. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, what an honor for the OAS team to be part of this. Congratulations to all the teams for the work and the presentations. And I'm going to share with you the final results. First, and there are two items I would like to cover. I'm going to explain the system of evaluation that uh, we had. We had a group of six judges, three uh, panelists from the International Community of the Americas, three from Dominica, all experts and qualified with practical experience on innovation and entrepreneurship. They uh, reviewed your presentations and assigned one to five points for each of your uh, categories that were considered as part of the criteria. So these were, how do you define the problem, the solution, your value proposition, your market research, the clarity of your business model, intellectual property strategy, investment requirements, how your team perform as a group, and the quality of the presentation. So uh, we had a quantitative uh, approach to this. So the number of total points were tallied at the end, and that's the main result. But before entering into the actual numbers, the qualitative element of your presentation was also very important. So I would like to ask our judges in Dominica to give you a quick one minute feedback on the qualitative element of your presentations and general feedback from all your great work. We can have uh, P.S. Thomas, David and Steven. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Everyone can hear me? Okay, um, I must say we, as a judging panel here in Dominica, we were very impressed with all the presentations from the six groups. There's some areas I think need improvement, um, so I'm gonna touch on these areas now just for your future knowledge. Um, one of the things we could see today is that sometimes technology goes wrong. Um, so a lot of it depends on your rehearsal and the practice beforehand just to ensure that you test and you test again. Um, just to ensure that the technology, you, it's going to work when you need it to work. Um, the other thing is, in terms of the business model, there were some presentations that were weak in this area, or that was one of the weaker areas, I should say. Um, it wasn't clear as to what your revenue model was going to be, what percentage was based on subscription, for example, what would be based on online sales or sales. Um, so that's one area as an investor, they really want to know that you know where you're gonna be getting your revenue from, and in turn, where they're gonna get their return from. Um, so that was another area that I think um, you guys need to spend more time on. And um, leading on to the business model, leading from the business model, I should say, your assumptions for your projections. I think that was one area. Um, you would show the charts as to what you expect to get in revenue, um, but there were no assumptions to go with that. How did you get those figures that you're projecting for the next three to five years. Um, so those are areas that you really need to focus on. Um, also your investment ask. Many times you would have indicated what you needed from investors in terms of capital or seed capital, but you weren't very specific as to how they would get their money back or what the return options would be, how much equity you would give, um, what exactly you were gonna use with that capital. Because right, right when you um, are asking for money, you have to have a very specific plan as to how you're gonna spend that money. And there's some things that are gonna be priorities, some things that are gonna be nice to have. So you have to be able to clearly articulate how that money is gonna be spent. And as an investor, the investor really would like to see what your net profits are. A lot of you all just showed your revenue. Um, it's all well and good to show your revenue, but you need to know how much profit 
you're going to be making from that revenue. Um, like Kenny would have said this morning, there are many companies that they start off, their revenue is very good, but they're actually losing money. So an investor would need to know um, the bottom line, what, what are your net profits, and that in turn will help them to see what their valuation should be. So they can see whether the equity that you're offering to them is fair value or not. So these are some of the areas that I think um, I wanted to touch on. But as I said before, I think it was a very commendable job by all participants. And I'm looking forward to see your businesses grow in the future. So thanks a lot. Thank you. So, just one point again to mention that all the teams did very well. In the total points, every team received at least 100 points. So that's a very important threshold to, to learn about. So you all got points from all the judges in all categories. So, so that's a very good score for every, every team. The decision was not easy. So I have to, to say that the numbers will show that. And because of this uh, proximity and uh, really good results that you provided, there's an honorable mention. We were going to assign uh, three places, but in order to recognize one of the teams that did a very good job and was very close in, in, in points, uh, the uh, judges decided to award a special honorable mention with 100 48 points to a one-stop shop for lead pickup and delivery services, Aaron Boy. So please, an applause for Aaron Boy, and Lisra will announce what is the uh, prize that you, you receive from the organizers. And we'd like to invite Aaron Boy, the team to come forward, the entire team to come forward, and we'd like to present you the special prize. And this prize is brought to you by DCP Successors Limited. I want to thank them for this great prize. Congratulations, everyone. Say so. Thank you very much, Aaron Boy, for coming to the front. Now we're going to the third place with 149 points. This team works on making local sausages. It's Innovate. Congratulations, Innovate. Liz Rowe. I would like to invite our vice president, Brenton Williams, to come forward. Our vice president, Brenton Williams, to come forward. This team is also receiving this team is also receiving a special prize from DCP Successors Limited. They are also receiving. They are also receiving a voucher from Do It Center. Put your hands on these, man. Come on. Second place. Are you ready for second place? It's with 155 points. This is an online platform for part of, of services and products among local entrepreneurs. We're talking about circular vision and Congratulations to Circular Vision and Circular Vision. We invite you to come forward. We invite you to come forward. We invite you to come up and be able to present this gift to the team. This team is also receiving a voucher from Fresh Market. Thank you. 
you very much. Thank you to the second place. Uh, and now we go to the final announcement with 156 points. For first place, this is a team that works on natural exotic teas, extracts, powders, and oils in no expressions. Congratulations. <laughs> Mrs. So, Miss so, I should say. Deborah Edward, we invite you to come forward as we present the top prize to the first place winner. This team will also receive a fuel voucher from Saul. They will also receive a gift from DCP Successes Limited, a voucher from Do It Center, a voucher from, well, a case of Benjamin Simas from Benjamin Simas and Agroprocessors Limited as well as one hour for each of the members of the team. We've consulted with Brenton Hillier, who is a John C. Maxwell coach, to be able to move your businesses forward. Congratulations. Congratulations to all the team. And just to mark the prices, we want to announce from the OES that we'll be providing international mentorship hours to the third, second, and first place two, four, and six hours of mentorship customized to your teams. So congratulations. Thank you all. Oh, guess what? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And each person, each person gets, a, gets refill a refill. A refill of that. So enjoy. And all the best in your travel. We would definitely like to congratulate all the teams for the hard work that you've put in over the days to ensure that you could pitch today. But it's not just about the pitching for today because each of your businesses do need that support and enthusiasm in making a difference in Dominica and, like we said, making the future brighter together. At this time, we'd like to invite one of our participants, Julie Roberts of Roberton Brand, to be able to present a token, a special token, to one of the participants. Good afternoon, and I'm sure we've, we enjoyed our week here together. I hope that as we leave here today, that everybody would take what we got here and we can put it into our businesses. However, we've done some great networking, and Roberta and the brand want to present each participant with a 10% discount on whatever that we do. You know, we do um, murals, paintings, sip paints. So now, till the end of November, you can come and claim that. And we haven't forgotten the facilitators and everyone who's been a part of the initiative whether from the Prime Minister's office or I'm first giving back Mr. Sam Rafael Jangobe and DIC, you will get a 15% discount because we really enjoyed this for free. It was luxury at its best. So you can come and claim that. But before we end, there's one person who was really, really great with us, Mr. Casado Man. You were a participant and you were also a mentor. to come forward to provide their feedback on the training, how it's been useful for them, and to also motivate all the young entrepreneurs to be able to use innovation to propel their businesses forward. Firstly, we would like to welcome Ms. Melinda Francois to come forward, followed by Mr. Albert Germain. Ms. Francois.
Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Lisa for establishing the protocol. And I just want to say that I'm very happy to be here. And I believe I can speak for the majority for saying that this was a very excellent initiative. And we are honored to have been chosen to be the first set of participants in the entrepreneurship and innovation hub. One of the key things that we, we, most of us thought were relevant and we can all say, I can speak for the majority to say that, there are some things that we know but we do not practice it. And having all of our mentors and the international faculty and presenters come in to tell us about how we can improve our business, we realized that it starts with you as an individual. One of the key lessons was discipline. What do you do for your business daily? Some of you here work full time and have a business. Some persons work for themselves. Are you disciplined to put your effort into your business daily? And the key lesson was using quality service to improve your business and to differentiate yourself. This is very important for most businesses, as well as the accounting. Many small business owners do not practice good accounting practices and they ignore it, and that can affect your growth. And this was a very interesting training because we realized that once you have your accounting right, it's one of the fundamentals as mentioned today. You have your accounting right, you know what your plans are for your business, then you can know whether you are on the right track. Another key part of the training was the legal aspect. Most of the business are the same. It does not protect you. We are not aware of that, but I should say some persons are not aware of that, and they ignore it until they reach the level where they need financing. So then we have challenges in getting finances because we do not know what to do. And this training provided a lot of knowledge on the key areas that you need to grow a business. And I believe we are going to use it. We are going to practice it and we are going to keep in touch with each other. One other um, recognition that I had was the participants were supporting each other. Some persons were selling their product. We were supporting each other, meeting with each other, forming partnerships and backer services. And it is a very good initiative for us to network and grow. And like most of the presenters said, relationship is key. So thank you for the DIC, the OLF, the organizers, the sponsors, Saul, FCID, John Bay, who are us to be here. It was a vacation for me, but a working vacation. And I think we I'm looking forward to what this hub is going to present in the next two years. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Melinda Francois. And we'd also like to invite Mr. Albert Graham to provide his response to us. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, one of the key aspects I took away from this entrepreneurship hub is the importance of networking. It is very important for us to have a good network base. Those that can support our business as well as those that we ourselves can support. Another thing that was very enlightening for me is the amount of knowledge that we know but yet still we don't know. I say that because as business owners, we do have the information and the knowledge out there available for us, but it wasn't made um, in, a, in a setting that was suited for us to understand it and grasp it properly. Um, I would like to say that it was very interesting and I enjoyed the um, learning aspect of it and the motivators they the mentors they were very key in making this happen for us because questions that we had brewing in our minds for a long time we could get answers for and i thank um, daic and the other partners for making it possible for us to have this opportunity to grasp further knowledge thank you very much Thank you very much, Mr. Albert Graham, for sharing your experience and the value 
of the Dominica Innovation and Entrepreneurship Hub to you and your business. At this time, one of the other key persons who have been part of this program, but just before I mention him, I would also like to inform all the participants that you're also getting additional discounts. Prince City is offering 15% to all the participants who are part of this program on your printing services. Thank you, Mr. Colin Gilgay, for this grand gesture. We would like to welcome Mr. Daniel Pansi, who is the Executive Assistant at DIC, to present our vote of thanks. We would like to express our gratitude to the Right Honorable Roosevelt Skerry, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Dominica, Executive Secretary for Integral Development, Ms. Kim Osborne of the Organization of American States, President of the Dominica Association of Industry and Commerce, Mr. Stephen Lander, the teams who have worked behind the scenes of our partner organization, Mrs. Missy Henderson, Permanent Secretary in the Office of the Prime Minister, Mrs. Esther Thomas, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Entrepreneurship and Innovation, Mrs. Natasha Hiloy Laban, Hiloy Laban, Senior Technical Officer in the Office of the Prime Minister, and Mr. Dan, Dan Joseph, Entrepreneurship and Innovation Officer in the Ministry of Entrepreneurship and Innovation. The team at the Organization of American States, Mr. Cesar Bagar, Ms. Arian Quintel, and Mr. Mikhail Buller. The Board of Directors and Secretariat of the Dominica Association of Industry and Commerce, Ms. Liz Fabian, Executive Director, Immediate Past President, Mr. Kenneth Green, Executive Vice President, Mr. Brenton Hillier, Mr. John Robin, Mr. Damien Sorrendo, Mr. Joel Dennis, and Mr. Miss Ivani Esprit. Special mention of the pioneers of this initiative, Ambassador Francine Barron and Mr. Kenneth Green, who, in my opinion, they deserve a round of applause. For To all our global sponsors, Jungle Bay Eco Resort and Mr. Sam Raphael for your hospitality and an ever supportive team. <laughs> to Seoul Eastern Caribbean Limited, CIDC First Caribbean International Bank and FSI Creative. And to you, the entrepreneurs who have gracefully completed this valuable hub and are now ambassadors of this timely initiative. To our media partners and to everyone who made the first Dominica Entrepreneurship and Innovation Hub, Innovation Hub Workshop, a true success. This initiative has proven to us all that there is value in collaboration. It, is, it has indeed been a pleasure to host, network, and socialize with the brightest and most innovative minds here on island. We are now, more than ever, treading closer towards the overall goal of building resiliency. We anticipate your success, and as you are now better equipped to weather the storms associated with entrepreneurship and, exec and executing small business here on island. Thank you all for your willingness to better the Commonwealth of Dominica. Thank you very much, Mr. Daniel Pante. And like with all good teams, it's not I, but it's we, and this was made possible by everyone who contributed to this. But I would like to especially recognize Daniel Pante and Danny Joseph for being part of the team to come on, make sure everything is working well on the ground to ensure that it could be truly a success. Also, Miss Judy Etienne, son, with that Judy. partners for being with us to ensure that this could be streamlined. We thank you for the partnership of the government in ensuring that this is possible and the office of the Prime Minister. And we'd like to thank all who viewed this via Facebook or YouTube. Thank you for being here with us and we wish everyone a really awesome day, an awesome weekend and let's continue to work together to make Dominica a brighter place. Have a great day all.